Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today, a new vulnerability that affects AMD and Intel, Zen 4 release timing is bad news, two new Nvidia GPUs release dates, and two massive leaks on AMD's upcoming RX 7000 GPUs. You've got to hear this. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, yet another vulnerability in modern CPUs has been found. But this time, it affects both Intel and AMD. The new Spectre-based vulnerability was found by the University of Virginia and the University of California San Diego and published in their new white paper. According to the paper, this new exploit uses a vulnerability in the MicroOps cache, and it's actually able to get around all current Spectre mitigations. Not only that, but all Zen-based AMD CPUs and Skylake-based Intel CPUs are affected. Oh, and Skylake likely means all CPUs up to 10th gen and probably even beyond that, though I'm not sure. What's way worse is that according to the authors, any mitigation that Intel or AMD come up with will almost certainly have a big impact on performance, won't work on all of them, or will cause errors. Basically, we may soon find ourselves deciding between security or performance. Then again, most of these types of attacks require certain access to the system, so the average home PC owner likely won't have to worry too much. Still, this is really bad. Now, before I get to the next story, you're missing out on free money. Yeah, I said free money with today's sponsor, Honey, the free browser extension that helps you save money when shopping online. See, Honey scours the internet for promo codes when you're shopping, and it applies the biggest discounts it can find for you. And Honey finds discounts on average of 18%. What's even better is that Honey works on a ton of your favorite websites. I mean, it feels great to simply shop like normal and just save money. And if you think it might be too hard, it's not. Adding Honey just takes a couple clicks, so there's no reason to wait any longer. Get Honey for free today by visiting joinhoney.com slash gamermail. And a huge thank Thanks to Honey for sponsoring this video. Next up, we have some disheartening news on AMD's upcoming Zen 4 based CPUs. According to a new tweet from known leaker Brawly X1, the upcoming 5 nanometer CPUs aren't going to be announced until September or October of next year, with the release in October or November. What's so bad about this is that it means AMD will almost certainly be releasing something before then. Like Video Card says, it would mean that AMD wouldn't have a response to Alder Lake, and that really doesn't make sense. So they're almost certainly releasing something. It just likely won't be 5 nanometers. Of course, quite a few rumors have recently claimed that AMD's Zen 3 Plus Warhol CPUs have been cancelled. Maybe it means the rumors that pointed to a potential refresh similar to AMD's Ryzen 3000 XT CPUs is right. The issue there is that I don't really see it being big enough for such a big generational change like Alder Lake. Then again, another rumor recently claimed that Intel's Alder Lake isn't going that well. Ultimately, it does look like we won't be getting 5 nanometer CPUs for quite a while. Next up for today, Nvidia's RTX 3080 Ti looks to be delayed. Again. Luckily, it won't be for long, and I don't see it happening again. Either way, the story originally comes from a report by Overclocking.com, and later confirmed by video cards. According to them, the 3080 Ti will now be announced alongside the 3070 Ti on May 31st, with a launch in June. Now, we aren't sure about the exact launch date, but according to video cards, the review embargo for the 3070 Ti lifts on June 9th and the 3080 Ti on June 2nd. Now, I've already been over most of the specs, but of course, the main concern for everyone is availability. Maybe Nvidia is continually delaying this to get more stock, then again, I doubt they'll have enough regardless. So with that in mind, I definitely suggest being ready at launch, and make sure you subscribe because as soon as I know the exact launch time, I'll definitely let you know. And lastly for today, we have two huge leaks on AMD's next-gen RX 7000 GPUs. If you followed the channel, you know that I recently discussed a leak claiming that AMD's upcoming RX 7000 GPUs would be using a chiplet-based design, at least their Navi 31 and Navi 32 GPUs. Well, we're now getting a better picture of the upcoming cards. Starting things off, we have a tweet from known leaker Kitty Corgi. 
In it, he states that Navi 33 equals Navi 21 plus next gen IP core. Oh, and he used question marks here to mean that he's not sure if it will be called Navi 33, but that part doesn't even matter. The main thing is that this essentially means Navi 33 should come with the same amount of cores that's currently in Navi 21, which is 80. And that makes a ton of sense, because that is likely the maximum amount of cores that are in a single chiplet. And remember that the previous leak claimed that Navi 33 wouldn't have a chiplet design, and that it would only have one. Basically, this perfectly works with the other leak. Not only that, but this tells us just how powerful next gen may be. Navi 33 should make up the 7600X, which means next gen's mid-range will beat this gen's best. And I say beat because don't forget that the 6700 XT is the same cores as the 5700 XT, yet it completely crushes it. So if AMD does something similar with the 7000 series, this could be huge. But wait, the leaks don't stop there. In a tweet from Red Gaming Tech's Paul Eccleston, he also stated that Navi 33 would have 80 CEUs. And he also said that Navi 31 and Navi 32 will get two chiplets with each having 80 CEUs. So double the course of last gen. Yes, that's double. And this isn't the first time we've heard this. But wait, there's even more. He also claims that Navi 31 gets two and a half times the performance of Navi 21 and similar ray tracing performance to Nvidia, though maybe a tiny bit slower. The one thing is that I'm not sure if he's referring to the RTX 4000 series or 3000. Remember that Navi 21 makes up the 6800 XT and 6900 XT. Not only that, but Kitty Corgi replied that two and a half isn't enough. Basically, AMD's Ryzen 7000 series will likely be one of the biggest generational jumps in performance that we've seen in a really long time. Of course, power draw would potentially be one concern, but if this is true, next gen's mid-range will be able to crush this gen's best. So while that does it for today, do you think AMD's next gen will be amazing or will Nvidia do better? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you like talking all things gaming hardware, join the GamerMeld Discord server at discord.gg slash GamerMeld. And as always, have a great day!